Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, I would like to talk a little bit about the obvious connection between mental health and a sleep disorder. So I do know from my own experience and from a few or quite a lot of my clients that a lot of people that suffer from insomnia uh, and other sleep deprivation problems, sleep disorders, do suffer from anxiety, um, panic attacks. So you wake up in the morning and the first thing you feel is fear. The first thing you feel like you feel have negative emotions about yourself. You feel like I can't face the day. You feel, you know, a close feeling around your throat. Your chest might be feeling clenchy and heavy. That is typical symptoms of anxiety or anxiety is basically a symptom of what you what's going on in your head, what is going on in your mind. You might also suffer from depression, but especially these anxiety attacks um, happen to a lot of people that uh, have insomnia or a sleep disorder, especially in the morning, which makes it even worse because you've just had no sleep, hardly any sleep or bad sleep most of the times, and then you're waking up and the first feeling you have is not a positive one you're feeling tired you're feeling exhausted probably stressed out because you haven't slept and you're facing another day you are facing a day at work you have maybe got children that d demand your your presence and your happiness which you can't really feel after you just really had a really exhausting night that didn't give you the rest that you needed, you feel a little bit out of control, you just really feel anxious. And I know that I have had it myself. And I have had a lot of clients who have that feeling and it can be very, very life destroying, it can really trigger you first thing in the morning that you are not going to have a good day. You just set yourself up for being negative for most of the rest of the day and it can be really taxing on you energy wise for your mind for everything so i've come across this uh, little exercise that i first was a bit sort of oh, i'm not sure about this but i gave it a go and i have also um taught it to a lot of my clients and I find it just great. I find it really, really works. It works for anxiety. It works for panic attacks and it basically just works for moments where you're just feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling like you have this tense feeling inside you and your mind is going on overdrive. You are completely overwhelmed with things. And this little exercise is very, very simple. It takes as long as it takes. It sometimes takes a couple of minutes. If your your feelings are strong or you've got a lot of pressure inside of you, it can take longer, but you can do it whenever you want, as long as you near a sink. And this is, um, I'm just going to explain it to you. So when you have this feeling of internal pressure, when you are just overwhelmed, you can feel your chest tightening, you can't breathe properly, you may be hyperventilating and you just feel like there is a lot of pressure inside of you. There is a lot of tension and you can't cope with a situation. Get yourself to a sink doesn't matter if it's a bathroom or a kitchen sink it just needs to have a plug so you make sure first to run the tap get really really cold water then you plug this plug the uh, the plunger into the sink and you run that really really cold water it got to be really as cold as you can get it and you run it until sort of um you can reach um, your wrist. So you have to be able to submerge 
your hands up to your wrist in that really really cold water so just run it five six centimeters it really depends on the size of the sink and then you place your hands in that really really freezing cold water you submerge your hands down to the wrist and then you just basically just move them really slowly so you can feel the cold that's why i mean the better the colder the better because you really need to feel a slight shock so it should be a slight shock to your system and then once you got your hands submerged in that water just move them ever so slightly around so you can feel that water almost stinging or tingling on your on your skin and then let all that pressure let it run through your body let it run into your hands and into that water so you need to really really imagine just use your imagination and just let all that pressure all the anxiety the angst the feeling that you've got of i can't cope i'm i won't be able to survive this day everything is getting too much for me any feeling that comes up inside of you you need to let go into that water just really imagine all that emotions all those feelings that tension go out through your fingertips into that water and just slightly ever so slightly move your hands around and feel the water if you if you got good imagination you can actually feel the water get thicker or sometimes i have experienced that you can almost feel the water get mucky because of all that negativity or that pressure coming from you from your mind from your body just let it all in there if you're angry about something just speak at the water shout at the water just let it all out it needs to go into that cold water and you have to do it until there is nothing left inside of you until you just feel neutral like there is no anger there is no panic there is no negativity left inside of you you got to do it as i said sometimes it takes a couple of minutes i have done it up to 20 minutes half an hour but you have to do it until you sort of drained of all that negativity drained of all that energy pressure energy that is inside of you that is clogging up your mind from feeling relaxed and happy and just let that all into that water until you're done until you sort of either feel like the pressures off your chest or you just feel exhausted or you just feel like right i'm i'm done and then the important thing is by the way if you need more cold water if it does take you a while you can let more cold water in there you just really have to make sure that that water stays as cold as it can get as cold as it is so you can really sort of feel that slight shock to your system while you sort of like getting that out it's breaking that mental cycle that freeze feeling this fright flight freeze feeling that is inside of you that causes the anxiety that needs to be that block needs to be shocked and that is what that cold water does it's like a, a physical trigger that will cause that mental blockage and also your physical symptoms to have a shock and then you can release them you can get rid of them and then when you're done it is important to pull the plug and then you really need to watch that water go all the way down and you say your goodbyes if you want to the negativity to the anxiety to all that just sort of like say right I'm done you're gone I don't need you I can start this day afresh or if you have it during the day this moment is past I can carry on you know feeling happier feeling more connected to myself feeling fresh refreshed ready for something else ready for something new it's almost like a little reprogramming of this mental shock this physical shock to your system and it does does really work i have tried it i have recommended it to people that have said right this is so simple it is so easily done takes a couple of minutes 
or as long as it does take but it is very simple it's actually a shamanic um, technique that is used by um, by indigenous people so I learned that from a very wise lady and I have as I said used it and taught it to many people so I hope that that is useful information for you and if you like that please keep watching I will be posting more videos and I hope that you want to try that and if you really want to change your anxiety and your sleep disorder or any other sleep problems that you have there is a way to reprogram yourself not just for a while but for indefinite and change the way your life gets controlled by this so if you want to do that if you're ready do please give me a call it's a free strategy call I will let you know how I do that what I do and we can maybe go that journey together so thank you I hope you enjoyed that and have a nice day bye